Hi, welcome to the first webisode of Insulation Station. Notice I said insulation, not insulation. Today we're going to talk about two things that solar panel providers may not tell you before doing an array on your home. To give you some background, my wife and I installed solar on our roof in April of 2014. We did a 9 kilowatt system and in the time between April of 2014 and January of 2016 when this is being recorded, we generated 22,245 kilowatt hours. Now some of that we used in our home and some of that we sent back to the grid. The first thing I want to talk to you today about is what a solar installer might not tell you before they put solar on your rooftop. Now typically solar installers are paid a commission per the amount of kilowatts they put on the home. And if you have a more efficient home, you might get away with putting less kilowatts of solar on the roof. And if you do that, well, obviously the solar installer is going to make less money. So the first thing you want to do before you install solar is ensure the integrity of the envelope of your home. Now what this means is making sure there's no leaks or other places where air conditioned air can escape from your home. So after you've got your home buttoned up nice and tight and you're not losing any air to the outside, let's talk about other things you can do. You can install compact fluorescent light bulbs, but of course LED bulbs are now cheaper and much more efficient, and so it's time to look at those. You can look at your appliances and make sure you've got Energy Star rated appliances. And for example, myself, we have a washer and dryer from 2004. It was Energy Star rated. High efficiency is right in the name of the washer and dryer. And guess what? I took a look and the Washers and dryers that are available now in 2016 are twice as efficient as the Energy Star rated washer and dryer that we have from 2004. So there are all kinds of places you can save some electricity by getting more efficient appliances, light bulbs, and making sure your home is buttoned up nice and tight from the outside elements. The second thing I want to talk to you today about is the condition of your roof. Now a lot of solar installers won't necessarily take the time to look at the condition of your roof before installing solar. And they're going to be excited to get that sale, they're going to be excited to put those kilowatts on your home, you're going to be excited to get those kilowatts running so that you start saving money on your electric bill, and you might overlook the fact that your roof condition might not be in the best shape for solar and if you put solar on your roof before your roof is actually ready for solar it could cost you a lot more in the long run and I don't want to see anybody in that position. So two things you want to know before you install solar. The first is you want your home as if energy efficient as possible and the second is you want to make sure that your roof is actually ready for the solar. But once you've got those two things squared away you're ready to put some solar on your roof. So join us next week when I talk about ROI or return on investment. I'll tell you how you can recoup the cost of solar much quicker with electric cars. Thanks so much. See you next time.